animating and implementing a game loop in Android is, is a difficult task. There's a lot going on and well for any programming language. And I thought it'd be handy to have a quick overview. And, and anything we've covered in these game loop and animation tutorials can also be applied to other programming languages. And between tutorials 35 and 46, we implemented the equivalent and created the equivalent in code of the old fashioned flipbook. We concentrated on drawing, scaling the images, uh, positioning the images, and, and that's all we did. We left out any time control and just continuously pumped out the images. We then, in tutorials 49 to 52, tried to introduce some sort of order. We um, took each page from our flipbook and put it inside a film frame, and then we enforced a film length time in each frame according to whichever rate we wanted. So in one second here we had five, and any time left over we just paused for delta t, and I showed you how to calculate that. And we also handled any errors, so the Android operating system might interrupt the film and stretch each section giving you a negative delta t calculation and we had a we solved that we added some code to take care of that and we had quite a nice uh, game loop and animation that you can use for simple games like uh, chess for example but uh, so we have our pause using the large delta t and our physics calculations use the same large delta t but delta t varies and if you're using advanced uh, mathematics um, time integration techniques and more complicated gameplay. Your underlying time steps, if they are irregular, you're not going to have a consistent and um, wholly deterministic experience. So to carry the film and movie analogy along, from tutorial 54 we're going to go digital. We're going to uh, keep, keep the large delta t and control a frame rate, but we're going to enforce an underlying digital clock with um, equivalent small dt time slots, and we're going to use that to update our physics. Hope it's all useful, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.